Okay. From Japan, I'd like to uh, first introduce Yoko Ayamuri. She's a, a professional marathon runner and a, a UNFPA Goodwill Ambassador, and she's president of Special Olympics in Nippon. And Yuri will be sitting right here. And of course, we all know Nadia, our Goodwill Ambassador, uh, the Perfect 10 gymnast. She's had a Perfect 10 performance in our Special Olympics movement, a very committed uh, um, participant. Uh, Ms. Drusilla Kanji, Commissioner of, for People with Disabilities in Namibia and head of the Sports Commission. And Mira Morsi, Special Olympics International Global Family Leader, MENA Region, a former basketball player. She has a son with ID and has been incredibly active in her country. Yoko, I'd like to ask you, yeah. um, you're mm. just going to hold that and feel better holding the mic. Oh, yes, it's closer. Okay, closer, yes, sorry. sorry. My voice is almost gone. <laughs> As a marathon runner, mm -hmm. uh, and one that's very influential in uh, your in the federation, uh, and and someone involved in Special Olympics, what do you think the barriers have been for you to to promote the Special Olympics, mm -hmm. and what do you think you could do with your federation to help uh, involve more Special Olympians, especially women? Um, I'm going to speak in Japanese and he's going to turn there. Okay. Well, but I you hope can I. Speak English. Okay. English. It's okay. Well, like, I, know, I will, she, I will she try. Will correct okay, my I, translation. Okay. Yeah. okay, I will try to speak English first and okay. then he's going to help. Okay. Um, yeah, I, uh, we have a great uh, federation in Japan, uh, Athletic Federation, but uh, they still not. Many federations, they don't know about the uh, Special Olympics. Uh, doesn't matter Olympian, uh, Paralym Paralympic athlete. So now uh, we are trying to include uh, if we make uh, some events or some public uh, events, mm -hmm. we always ask them and they come to the events for publish with uh, Special Olympian. Mm -hmm. So then media is coming. But it's not, if we just make a special Olympian for events, they don't, they don't come still. So that's why I use these Olympian and the Paralympian come to same events and together, then announce together. So I'm trying to make a, that situation every time. So you're saying in your events that are outside the Special Olympics or the Paralympics, you invite them in, like yeah, a unified sometime, yeah. event, and that means that they come and yeah. more people participate. Yes. That's why uh, this time, when we came here, before we made a... Uh, uh, where the teams get together mm -hmm. and for the Special Olympics, and uh, uh, it's a ceremony. Ceremony. Yes. 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 Ceremony. Yes. ceremony. So we invited uh, four, five, five, uh, four, four Olympian. They they comp uh, competed uh, in Athens Olympic Olympic Games. So we invited them, and then they got together for announce about uh, this game. So that's why uh, media Japanese media came many and uh, announced to public. So we are trying to make like this more. So you've been very creative in using your expertise and your position as a leader to bring in um, Paralympians and Special Olympians. The Federation. Yes, the Federation. Yes, yes. Federation. Yes. Right. Yeah. I'm involved. just trying to show that how you can be even more creative within your culture to open up opportunities, and sometimes it takes uh, a different approach uh, to uh, really accommodate the needs of those that you want to support. 
I'm going to go to Nadia now. now Nadia is in, was in a sport that is known internationally as a women's sport, gymnastics. And from a country in Romania during the communist regime that really handpicked athletes at a very young age and supported them. And now Nadia lives in the United States, is involved in the Special Olympics, and has used her visibility consistently to help others. Uh, Nadia, why did you choose to embrace the Special Olympics? And what does it give you, give you as a as one that's been very active in all levels of sport. Well, good morning to everybody. Um, well, I, I come from a different culture, as you said earlier, that um, I was born in uh, Romania, and um, there was a communist system there. I studied gymnastics when I was six and a half, and I was fortunate that um, there was a place for me to spend the energy. And um, I, uh, I had more success than I expected. And of course, that, um, that helped me after I retired to open doors. Because the harder things to do is to open doors. And once you get in there, then you talk about what uh, you want to talk about. But I got involved in Special Olympics because of that guy over there. <laughs> Um, my husband, Bart Conner, about 20 years ago, uh, when I left Romania, uh, Romania was still a communist country and that became a free country three weeks later. And uh, he just grabbed my hand and he said, I'd like to introduce you to something very special. And um, I didn't know anything about Special Olympics because in, in Romania we didn't know anything about Special Olympics. And um, I took part in the games and since then, became my family. And I went back to Romania a couple of years later. And we did a big event um, with Special Olympics. We run the flame in Bucharest. And um, even though Special Olympics existed in Romania 10 years prior to the event that we did, where we involved a lot of famous athletes and uh, government people and uh, rich people and uh, people that they were known pretty much in Romania, after that event, everybody knew about Special Olympics, even though the, the movement existed 10 years prior to that. So it takes um, a presence nonstop of somebody who uh, support uh, this organization. And uh, um, for, for me, the work is a little easier because um, I, I find very hard people that say no to me. So. Uh, you don't say no to Nadia, ever. So if, if <laughs> um, so I am continuing to do, the, with the presence, the same thing, to talk about Special Olympics. In some parts of the world, people still don't know what Special Olympics is all about. They, there's still a bit of confusion between Special Olympics and Paralympics. And um, I think my, my, my work is not hard at all. I don't know many, if many of you know this, but Nadia uh, walked out of Romania when she was fed up with the system, had the courage to walk out of that country for freedom. And uh, something else. <laughs> so that's why you don't say no to Nadia, because she's going to get you to say yes. 